Samsung Electronics Company Chairman Lee Kuan Yew passed away in Seoul today at age 78. It's six years and five months after he collapsed at his home in Itaewon on May 2014 due to myocardial infarction, commonly known as heart attack. Lee was hospitalized at Samsung Medical Center in southern Seoul and had been in stable condition, although he never fully recovered. Samsung said in a statement, Chairman Lee passed away on October 25th with his family, including Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong, by his side. Chairman Lee was a true visionary who transformed Samsung into a world-leading innovator and industrial powerhouse from a local business. Graduated from Waseda University in Japan and George Washington University's Graduate School of Business, Lee traveled around Silicon Valley in the U.S. and sought to enter the high-tech industry in 1970s. He was promoted to vice chairman of Samsung CNT Corporation in 1978 and began training as heir to Samsung Group. Lee inherited the Samsung crown in 1987 at age 45 after his father Lee Byung-chul, the founder of Samsung Group, died. In 1993, he summoned managers of Samsung Electronics to a hotel in Frankfurt, Germany, and declared the second era of Samsung by urging them to bury old ways of working and thinking and said, "Change everything except your wife and children." In fact, in 1995, Lee personally recalled about 150,000 poor-quality mobile phones and other products and set them on fire. Since then, Samsung focused on improving product quality instead of increasing market share. Along with South Korea's top conglomerates Hyundai Motor and LG, Samsung has been helping the country's dollar economic growth over the past decades. Under Lee's leadership, Samsung Group sales, which stood at 10 trillion won at the time Lee took the throne, rose to 390 trillion won in 2013. Samsung has also produced dozens of affiliates, including the world's top smartphone makers, Samsung Electronics Company, and Samsung Heavy Industries Company. In 2006, Samsung Electronics overtook Japan Sony and became the world's number one in the global TV market and achieved the number one title in the smartphone market as well by overtaking Apple. However, behind a reputation as one of the most successful businessmen in South Korea, Lee suffered from various investigations, including slush funds. Lee's remarkable achievements left a thorny succession challenge for his children. Lee is currently survived by his wife Hong Lai Hee and only son Lee Jae Yong and two daughters Lee Bu Jin and Lee So Hyun. Jae Yong currently serves as vice chairman of Samsung Electronics, while Bu Jin leads Samsung Hotel Arm, Hotel Silla Company, and So Hyun is in charge of Samsung Welfare Foundation. Among them, Lee Jae Yong is to inherit the crown and lead Samsung Electronics as the next head, just like Jong Hee Sun recently became the chairman of Hyundai Motor Group.